Hey, this is Marco and I'm going to show you how to sub Epsilon and Z on a keyboard. But before I show you how to do that, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. And I finally did it, I finally figured out how to do it. It was a hassle, I spent days, so hopefully I can save you time by doing the same thing. Now, in general, if you go to your keyboards here, and you go to more keyboard setting, you're going to get to this screen. And this is your current uh, language, uh, basic typing, etc. that you're using. And if you were to go to the three, three dots, language options, uh, as you can see, I'm using Quert Z, but I don't want to use the Z, I want to use the Epsilon, because on my keyboard, that's, that's the way it's set up, and I just want to use it that way. Now, I know you can swap out the keys, and no, this video is not about how to physically swap out uh, the keys, but it's pretty simple, you just turn off the uh, keyboard, pop it out, pop it back in, and that, that's pretty much it. But I wanted to have it on QWERTY Z, and I wasn't able to do it. If I go to add a keyboard, sure, there are some with Epsilon, like Estonian, for example, but the problem is, if I were to have that, I wouldn't have like creation letters, some things on the keyboard would change that I wouldn't know how to use. So I got mad, I don't want to finally replace it. So how I did it is with uh, Razer Snips. Now, you need to have Razer keyboard. I don't know if this will work if you don't have a Razer keyboard, just so that you know. Basically, as you can see, I have it with the Z. And if you go to Razer Snaps Beta, these are the customized keys. So as you can see, I swapped Epsilon with Z and Z with Epsilon. And what you and how you can do it, of course, open it and then go just to the keyboard, click on the Z and just drag your mouse here and you will see keyboard function. And from there you want to do alphanumeric, so not all this, alphanumeric, and then you want to, in this case, do uh, epsilon, where is it? Yeah, ba basically epsilon. And then you click on save, and now it's swapped. And you do the same for epsilon, and if you go here to the customized, you will see it. So if I were to write stuff, as you can see, it's epsilon and it's z. Now, if I didn't have this, if I, were, if I were to type Epsilon, it would be Z and vice versa. And, and that's pretty much it. This didn't help me out and I didn't find like Croatian uh, QWERTY keyboard. So Razer helped me out here and I did it uh, basically this way. And that was the only way I figured out how to actually make it work and how to swap it. I mean, not swap it, like, you know, so that actually works, so that I don't have to, I don't know, do whatever. This is basically what works, and it's pretty simple. Once I figured it out, it took like three seconds to do it, but of course, <laughs> it took some time to figure it out. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe.